Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? So, I was going to go over Eleven Labs briefly, some of the stuff that they've done, some of the stuff that they're working on, and I thought we could start by looking at this uh, rather nifty uh, song that they've kind of generated with their new music generator, which isn't actually out yet, but it's coming out pretty soon. Again, I don't know if you're going to have to have a certain account to use this, but it seems like a very good music generator, so let's have a little listen. <laughs> I should probably point out there are other We were having fun Programming young Dreaming that one day We'd make it work Lines of code We'd write all night Hoping that one day We'd get it right Can we teach the machine to sing? Can we teach the machine to dream and then Ooh, it started to sing No, this can't be real It's just a machine but the melody Ooh, it's all too real Anyway, um, so yeah, that was released four weeks ago and this is obviously the software we're working on but I thought it was really cool anyway um, so that's obviously not quite out yet to the general public, but um, I thought we could also look at um, an Osmo Gold video. Whoa, okay. Let's have a look at this little Osmo Gold video with, um, again, this is the Eleven Labs using their API. Wow, Quest voice acted? Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, let me look at this. While I get things back in order here, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Wow. One of my former apprentices embarked in a very dangerous line of research. She journeyed to the East Sanctum. And, and I guess this is going to be all of the quests. And uh, yeah, that, that's close enough. I would say this is good. One more request from Lord Southeril concerning supplies for his party. Do I look like a party planner? Between you and me, that fool and his sycophants are living in denial that we're under attack here. Anyway, guys, uh, before we go uh, any further... I've um, left a link in the description, which basically, it's not a sponsored video, but if you do want to get Eleven Labs and you use the link, I might get a little bit of money, a few pennies, so yeah, i definitely consider that. Anyway, let's look at some of the cool stuff that you can just do um, normally in Eleven Labs. So, we have speech synthesis, uh, text-to-speech, and I've got Sonic and uh, Tails and a few other sort of Sonic characters, which actually sound pretty good. Eggman sounds kind of weird, but yeah, I kind of use these, um, you know, for sort of various videos that I've done. Cream sounds really weird, to be honest. <laughs> Salad Finger sounds awful. On the side here, there's various engines. So I typically use the um, Engine 1 version, which sounds better because all of these sounds were sort of, of all of these voices were made quite a while ago. So they're sort of still using the old like software and whatnot. So, okay, let's just generate Sonic, for example. All right, but only because I can't resist a good rescue mission. Mm. There we go. He read the line of dialogue. Kind of sounds like Sonic. Sounds a bit high-pitched. I might want to regenerate this a few times till it sounds good. They've also got speech-to-speech. -speech. So if I upload my voice, for example, um, I can actually make my voice sound like another character's voice. I'm not going to go through everything. But, yeah, they've got some sound effects, which is very, very cool. Um, so yeah, Calm Horn Funny, for example. I made this and it actually sounded like Peter Griffin. It was kind of hilarious. Um, but it also had some really good car sounds. So again, if you're doing a video or working on a project and you need like some particular sounds which aren't copyright, then you can just basically do this. Generate the sounds, for example, that you want. And, you know, you don't have to mess around. You can just generate the sounds, download them. That's it. They're done. Um, let's have a little listen. <laughs> what was that? That was kind of hilarious. So yeah, I mean, it generated some um, funny car horn sounds. Um, you can do a lot of other sounds. It can also do basic words and uh, stuff if you want as well. Um, so voices. Um, there's so many options for voices. 
you can basically clone an existing voice by uploading um, a particular sample. Or you can design a voice from scratch. So you could have like, I don't know, an old Indian man uh, with a strong accent, for example, um, if you want to do that. Um, yeah, there's also the voice library, which has got a bunch of voices. Some of them sound a bit generic, but, you know, whatever, really. Um, okay, projects. I don't think I have projects, but, yeah, it is kind of cool. Stories with emotion. Here we get the idea. That sounds really cool, actually. I've not actually used this. Um, okay, you need to be subscribed to at least the creator tier to access projects. So um, I've got the basic tier. But that looks pretty good. A voiceover studio. Okay. No voiceover projects yet. Interesting. Oh, this is kind of cool. I think I've got access to this. Upload a video to add a voiceover and sound effects with our new voiceover studio. That's pretty freaking cool, man. Um, It says it's in beta. I guess we can have a little go. Actually, no, I'm sure it works absolutely fine, but that's quite a cool feature, which it seems I have access to. Um, dubbing. Oh, okay. So dubbing's pretty cool. Um, translate your content across 29 languages in seconds with voice translation, speaker detection, and audio dubbing. Oh, that's really nice, actually. So I guess... You could have a video, for example, and you could upload it and then just um, change like the audio to something else. Really cool. Oh, you can upload from YouTube and stuff. Ah, dude, I'm going to have to do all my videos in Spanish, man. <laughs> uh, or French or something. Oh, OK. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Audio native looks quite interesting as well. Automatic voices content of a web page using 11 labs text-to-speech now I don't think I have access to this because it's like a premium thing but you can automatically translate all your web content into um, voice with this as well so that's just some of the cool stuff that um, 11 labs are doing in addition to the video that we looked at initially um, that's another thing that's, that they're sort of doing um, I only have a basic plan um, anyway, guys, I don't want to, you know, waste your time with any more stuff. I can say that I'm mostly used for speech and I've been using the sound effects more recently. But the other stuff looks amazing as well. So, yeah, if you want to check out Eleven Labs, uh, do use the um, link in the description because, well, you know, you you, you love me, right? <laughs> uh, if you want to. And, yeah, I definitely say that getting a basic account is pretty good or a more advanced account, whatever you want. Or you can start off for free, I believe. So with a free account, you can still do quite a lot of stuff. Um, but anyway, I guess I will leave the video there. Uh, tell me, Let me know what you think, and I will speak to you guys soon.